Good morning, everyone. Good morning, morning. Good morning. Good good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's chilly morning, right? It's hot outside, cold in here. I know, that's a good thing. A little chilly, so hopefully you're not too cold today. But my name is Captain Tasha, Operations Officer. I'll be doing the Oath and Wisdom Ceremony. Welcome to the Jennifer Parcells Ceremony Room. Thank you for taking time out of your schedules uh, to support your recruit decision. What we'll do today, I'll ask them some very important questions. We'll do the oath, we'll go next door, sign contracts, and then we'll stand by for a shipping um, transportation brief, and then also the shipping ceremony, which is basically everyone giving them a well-deserved round of applause to exit towards the, uh, the transportation. Recruits, parade, rest. Have y'all been briefed on and do you understand the the applicant briefing on separation policy and restrictions on personal conduct in the armed forces and the CMJ articles 83, 85, and 86? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. Does anyone have any questions, reservations, or reluctance to enlisting at this time? No, no ma'am. Ma no one forced you to be in here? No, no ma'am. Is there a ship out or else, something like that? No, no ma'am. Good. Okay. I'm glad you're here um, before me on a voluntary basis. That's awesome. Testament to your character, the plans that you have um, for yourself, and the fact that the department says that you're qualified to be in this room. So just remember that you do deserve to be in this room, um, and we're counting on you to join the team. So if your next big, big obstacle is graduating from basic training, to continue on for the, any additional training, and finally uh, joining up to the, with the team to be an asset to the best military in the world. Do we have any prior service friends or family in here? Awesome. Okay. Recruits, join me in a round of applause. Yes. Thank you. that came before us because without them there are resources benefits technology that we wouldn't have uh, that make serving uh, easier to make taking care of our families easier and there's things that they might have had to endure that we will never have to because of how our military operates and the advancements in technologies uh, both militarily and medically uh, so just remember to thank those that came before you and thank each other because you all are now brothers and sisters in arms and everyone's military walk is not going to be the same some have family members that they'll have to leave behind momentarily to complete the mission Others uh, go do those super secret things that nobody ever hears about, and there's a lot of things in between that that we are all relying on each other to be at our best. So remember that when you get to basic training, stay positive, stay motivated. The intangible things inside of you that helped you get through this process, that brought you to this room, whether it's a higher power you pray to, meditation, a quote you can commit to memory, uh, an experience you can think about, somebody you can think about that's going to motivate you when your bodies are tired, to weary, and broken is going to be very important because we can do a lot more than we ever imagined because of the power of our mind. And it's important for you to remain positive because there will be some failures at basic training. But if you remain positive and you stay motivated, your cadre will support you through all of those things. So my friends and family, just know that our recruits will be well taken care of when they get to basic training. A lot of risk mitigation goes into it. A lot of planning goes into it because, of course, our newest team members, we want them to make it to uh, the other side to make it to join the team. And so uh, hopefully they're confident in that fact and they will get the opportunity to communicate. At some point, take that opportunity to communicate every time they give it to you. Uh, call home, write home, whatever it is, uh, so that your family can be informed and comforted by the fact that they're hearing from you. And my families, when they do call you, it's a little stressful that first phone call. Little tears, that's all normal. I just expect that, get ready for it. And if they ask you to come get me, you're like, come get me. Don't do it, right? Don't hop on a train or a plane or anything. It's gonna be all right, just uh, ride it out. We want you to graduate. And then if maybe after that, then you can make some plans. But just remember, stay motivated and stay positive. Uh, and you all will be just fine. But you'll get food, clothes, shelter, right? You'll be cleaning Gucci uniforms probably. If you're issuing that now, you may bring like Red Lobster, Olive Garden every other Friday. I go to Holiday Inn a couple nights a week. Be really nice, right? No, no, none of that. None of that will happen for you. But you'll get to sleep somewhere, um, definitely every night. You might be under the stars, whatever you're doing. But um, you'll get nice new uniforms. You'll have nice new clothes, and you'll have food to eat. So even if you are tired of whatever they're getting, giving you, make sure you eat that food so you can be at your best and make it your plan to be the best at whatever you're going to do for your service. Because when you do finally put on the uniform, people are going to be able to tell that you're in the military. And they're going to have high expectations of what you're doing, that you're qualified to wear that uniform, that you're up late at night fighting aliens or whatever it is that we do, right? So they can wake up with the same freedoms and rights that they went to sleep with. So prove them right in those expectations by making it your goal to be the best at whatever you're going to be doing uh, for, your, for your service. But congratulations on making it back here. Not everyone does. Statistics, 1 in 10. You make up 1 in 10 applicants who come through our doors um, and they get this far. So that's... Uh, that should motivate you to keep putting your best foot forward and make your friends and family very proud of you. And you're making up, um, as we take this oath, that less than 1% of individuals who reside in our country, that 300 plus million number that continues to increase, uh, less than 1% choose to put on a uniform and serve the country. So um, I'm honored to be up here in front of you, and I look forward to serving with all of you. 
for group's attention. The cameras are ready. You can go ahead and pull those out. If not, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your full name. I I your full name. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. And that I will bear true faith. And that I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders. And I will obey the orders. Of the President of the United States. Of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers. And the orders of the officers. Appointed over me. Appointed over me. According to the regulations. According to the regulations. And the uniform code. And the uniform code. Of military justice. Of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. Excellent job. Go ahead and lay that on. Recruits, parade, rest. All right, welcome to the Armed Forces. Go ahead and give me a round of applause. Thank you have for yourselves if you'd like to make a quick seven. Whatever you want to do, but congratulations on, on making it here. After uh, the ceremony is complete, we'll do some more ceremonies. And then the front desk will let everybody know when the ceremony room is open to take additional pictures. Uh, lunch started at 11, so our recruits will be allowed to go to the cafeteria. You can join them. Uh, while they go, we can't. We unfortunately we can't provide you with lunch, so you can watch and eat while you're in there, right? And then uh, we'll call them back to get their travel briefing and do the shipper send off. And generally, we try to get everyone ready and prepped to leave uh, by 12:30, so you can have that time in mind. If you have any questions uh, after this, please feel free to stop me. We're going to do some more ceremonies, and again, come back in and take pictures and join them in the cafeteria for lunch. Okay? Recruits, attention. I'm going to give you the, cap the command of fall out. When I do that, you're going to take a step backwards, turn to your right, and exit through the brown wooden door. Fall out, and congratulations. Love you, Josh, man. Five pack. You did great. Yeah. My inner. We're saying goodbye.
It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you The planes we flew, good things we've been through That I'll be sitting right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different See the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays And now I see you in a better place, yeah How can we not talk about family When family's all that we got Everything I went through you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again We've come a long way, yeah From where we began And I'll tell you all about it When I see you First you both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong But small turn to a friendship, a friendship turn to a bond A bond will never be broken, the love will never get lost And when brotherhood come first and the line will never be crossed Establish it on your own when the line had to be drawn The line is what we reach, so remember me when I'm gone How can we not talk about family when family is all that we got Everything I went through you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride So let the light guide your way Hold every memory as you go And every road you take Will always lead you Tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began, and I'll tell you. All